Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs for 11 straight years now, every day. Today I'd like to share 1 John 4 verses 1 to 6. Here is the word of God. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you heard was coming and now is in the world already. Little children, you are from God and have overcome them. For he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. They are from the world, therefore they speak from the world, and the world listens to them. We are from God. Whoever knows God listens to us. Whoever is not from God does not listen to us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. 1 John 4, 1-6 and here's the poem I wrote based on those following verses. On Testing and Discerning Spirits We are cautioned to be aware of spirits around us. Let us not believe every spirit. Instead, bring it to a test. We live in a world that is corrupted and full of deception. The prince of this world wants us all to have chaos and confusion. The only way we can test the Spirit is if we walk in God's Spirit. He gave us His Word so we can walk in truth and not be deceived. You will know it is from God when they confess Jesus became man. If they deny Christ, they don't speak the truth but lies from Satan. The Spirit of the Antichrist does not declare Jesus as Lord. They will deceive you with subtle lies that are from this crooked world. Many false prophets and antichrists are out now to wreak havoc. If you believe in Christ, you will have his spirit who will deliver you. Do not be afraid, little children, for Christ has already won the battle. He who lives inside you is stronger than they are, so have courage. Those who listen to the truth and lives in it are from the Lord Jesus. Don't fret if the world doesn't listen to all those who are from us. Reflection Why do you think some people cannot discern the spirit of truth from error? Definitely, if they are unbelievers, they will never be able to discern. Because for us to discern the spirit of truth from error, we must know the truth. And the truth only comes from the Lord. So if nobody, even if you're a believer, and if you do not walk in truth or, or meditate on the Word of God, you do not consume it like your spiritual food, you will not be able to discern the spirit of truth from the spirit of error. The only uh, way you will know that something is false or erroneous is if you know the truth. And here John clearly explains to us the difference between the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. The spirit of truth believes that Jesus and declares that Jesus come down in the flesh. But the spirit of error does not even declare Jesus as Lord or as God. So if you do not have to more or less be involved in a battle uh, or a debate whether they are the spirit of truth or not, but if you are, if you belong to the Lord, you will know because you're, the spirit that is in you who is the Holy Spirit, will let you know if it is the spirit of error or the spirit of truth. 
and and that is the gauge. The truth is that Jesus became human to save us all from sin. And the spirit of error is that some some other uh, people say that Jesus is just a teacher, a human being, like all of us, but they do not declare that he is Lord and divine. So I encourage you to reflect on these following verses because this will guide us to know whether we are amongst those who are in truth and if we are being deceived by those who are in error. So thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos and bring you the thoughts to ponder on about God's Word. Thanks for watching.